All right, so tonight I am going to brush hone my cylinders. Uh, a couple things you need for this. One, I've got the Brush Research Manufacturing brush here. Uh, flex, their Flex Hone brand. I guess they make a bunch of different stuff. Uh, this one specifically, however, is essentially for uh, edge blending and surface finishing and things like that. Um, there's the brush itself. It's two and three quarter inches in diameter, which is uh, matches up with the about 2.74 or so size of the cylinder wall. I did email uh, Brush Research. They got back to me the very next day and agreed that the two and three quarter inch, 240 grit um, brush was the proper one to use for this application. All I wanted to do was essentially establish a cross hatch. I have my Milwaukee cordless drill. Uh, the, the spec or the instructions call for 500 to 1200 RPM rotational speed. The drill puts out about uh, 0 to 1700 RPM in its fastest speed, so I'm going to have to uh, not pull the trigger all the way, but most of the way. And I've got some uh, high quality Walmart brand motor oil here, 10W30. The instructions, um, which are on the back of the box here, that came with the brush essentially say to use either 10W30 or their Flexone oil. I figured the Flexone oil might be a, a little bit of a waste of money when the quart of oil is a couple bucks. Um, so we'll show you the before. Here's the beautiful block. Uh, the cylinder walls are actually not in huge, in too bad a shape. There's definitely some spots. Let me get my light. Definitely some spots that require attention. Uh, you can see that there. This is the number three. Uh, number two is is somewhat similar. Number one's not too bad, and number four actually you can still see some crosshatch in there. Number four is not in bad shape. Uh, but the, the wear on number two and three correspond to the wear that I found on the head with regards to the exhaust valves being in really, really bad shape. I don't know if I took any close pictures of those. Um, but there we go. And uh, let me switch and get the camera mount on the tripod here and we'll keep going. All right, so got my face shield on. I don't know how nasty this is going to get, but it's supposed to get pretty nasty. So I pre-lubed the cylinders with the 1030 weight oil. And I have to lube, lubricate the, the honing brush. So essentially what you do is you lubricate the brush, start the drill up, put it into the cylinder with the drill running, and it uses, says using 60 to 120 strokes per minute um, to develop the cross hatch, and you go for about 20 to 45 seconds per cylinder. So these, since these aren't in horrible shape, I'm gonna go for 35 seconds, and then uh, clean it up big time after we're done and we'll see what we get. So you've seen the four pictures. This guy over up here. Alright, make a mess of the floor. Got the uh, do your rag down and try and make the, the mess minimal, but I don't think it's going to really matter. All right, so we'll start the drill. We'll go in for about 30 seconds. I got a little alarm set over here and uh, see what happens. Alright, so that was 40 seconds. We obviously moved some metal here. One thing I didn't mention is it tells you that when you uh, when you're running this thing in and out, to not 
to, when you withdraw the brush for the final time, make sure you're still running it when it comes all the way out. All right, so I'm gonna do the rest of them, and uh, I'm not gonna video them, but we'll do the rest of them, and then we'll take a look at them after I get them all cleaned up. All right, so I've been through them both. Uh, the face shield wasn't necessary, by the way. Got away with glass, didn't make too much of a mess. So this is all of the oil and everything, all the rundown. I didn't end up doing them twice. Uh, those middle two cylinders uh, are not in that great a shape. Uh, so this is after the second time. So I did them twice for about 40 seconds each. So hopefully these middle two are gonna clean up. I'm, uh, I'm not gonna machine this thing pretty much regardless, but uh, we'll see. So I don't have a, a big brush. It tells you to use soap and water and all that stuff. So I'm gonna have to make something here real quick, but uh, I'll show you when it's all done. All right, so here's after. Uh, see if I can get it in there well. Not that easy to see. Get some of this light away. So this is number four. That's pretty nice. Unfortunately, uh, number two and number three. Sorry for these angles being so horrible. Number two and number three. Um, there's some discoloration in there. So. Uh, the bottom half is not really all that clean. I didn't go all the way in it yet. So you can kind of see that line down there. That's just because I haven't cleaned it all the way. Um, but I'm going to take it. There's a good shot of that stuff in there. So um, again, that's number two and number three. And that matches what I saw inside the um, cylinder head. Here's number one. Pretty good cross hatch in there. Number two with all that extra stuff. Number three. Number four is in pretty good shape. Uh, so the block itself now, I'm gonna try and get it into the sink. Uh, clean it off really, really well. Soap and water. And uh, prep it for paint. Cheers.